What is going on everybody? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can convert your Adobe XD design to HTML. Now Adobe XD is a pretty new app and it doesn't have a ton of tools to convert stuff so we're gonna work pretty much everything manually but I'm gonna show you my process maybe yours is different alright so let's see what we have uh, this is what you're gonna see when you open the app they give you some options like for iPhone iPad web or your own size they, they have some kits so we're gonna do web you can click here on this little arrow and they give you some sizes so we're gonna use the 1280 for this tutorial so let's click that and just click on the icon right here and that's it we have a blank page which the first thing I do is change the name of the artboard I'm gonna change it to home page you can change it to whatever you want all right so what I'm gonna do is a simple navigation right for a website so we have a uh, simple tools right here rectangle um, uh, line and pen tool you know simple stuff right so I'm gonna use this rectangle I'm gonna click and drag because it's a navigation is gonna be on the top of my website all right and on the right you will see some options like sizes you can align you have fill color border shadow background the border radius the opacity and everything here all right everything you need is here okay so for now I'm gonna just deselect this border right here I'm gonna check on the fill color I'm gonna choose a dark gray maybe something like that and on the size let's see what we have the height I'm gonna change it to maybe 80 pixels yeah that seems good all right so I want to do I want a home page an about page and maybe a contact page or something like that so I'm gonna click here on the text tool I'm gonna click over here let's see let's say home page all right home I'm good with that you can press escape on your keyboard and then you can go selection tool and move all right that seems good now I'm gonna I'm gonna change the text to white and um, maybe the size to 16 so you can just change it right here all right all right cool now I'm gonna zoom e zoom here and I'm gonna click it I'm gonna press alt on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag it so we're kind of cloning that uh, home text if you don't want this to happen you just can press shift and it doesn't matter what you do with the mouse it's gonna stay right there aligned with that one so we're gonna drag a little bit and you can see right there the pixels so I'm gonna do 30 pixels right that seems cool so we have 30 pixels of space between them so this is gonna be about and I'm gonna do the same thing with about All right, and you can see that they snap. Oops, sorry. You can see they snap right there, so they can actually letting you know, okay, you're there in your 30 pixels. Perfect. And this one can be maybe contact. Yeah. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now I want this navigation to stay on the center of this uh, gray box. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to click, sh press shift on your keyboard and click about and click home. Then I'm gonna right click and click on group. And that's it, now we have a group. So it doesn't matter what you select, there are gonna be grouped right there so I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the background that dark gray background I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna select my navigation and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna align 
on the middle, so vertically align and then align horizontally. So now you can see they are actually centered on my gray background right here. So perfect, that's all I want. All right, so I mean my navigation, I think is already done. But when I hover this home button, I want to see like a, a black background. So I'm gonna create a rectangle. Right here, okay, something like that. Let's go here and remove the border. Let's, let's change the white to black. And what we can do is right click and click here on send backward. All right, so I think that's pretty cool. Now, something very, very important is I need the numbers, right? So right now, I'm what I'm gonna do is because this is a group, I'm going to double click so I can select them separately and I'm gonna click home. I'm gonna press alt on my keyboard and you can see that when you hover different elements, they're gonna let you know um, the distance between them and you will see here the pixels. So right now I know that I have 31 pixels on the top and 31 pixels on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is when I'm creating my HTML, this is gonna be padding, all right? You're gonna see it later. And here you will see that it's not perfect right now because I just threw the rectangle, but you can see here that we have 16 and 17 pixels. But remember that we have 30 pixels from here to here. So half is 15 pixels. So what you can do here is go and you know, shrink it a little bit. And you can now check, you know, right now we have 15 pixels. You know, that way the developer or maybe another designer that is going to work for you understand all the numbers. All right. So we're going to add 15 pixels right and 15 pixels left, 31 pixels to the top and 31 pixels bottom. Okay. Our text right now is 16 pixels. And um, I think we are ready to code. This is done. So I'm gonna open now my text editor right here. I have a very, very simple HTML5 template. I am going to add a link to the description of this video so you can go there and download this template and you can play with it, do whatever you want, okay? Something cool that I'm gonna do, maybe you don't know what it is, maybe you do. I'm gonna use Emmet. It's a plugin that I added to my text editor. So it's gonna be very simple to create this navigation. So I'm gonna write nav is going to contain a UL and then inside that UL is going to be an LI multiplied by five times, which means I'm going to create a, a five LIs. So five lists inside that five uh, list items. I want an anchor. And then after I am done with this, I'm going to hit tab in my keyboard and look at this beauty. And actually, I don't know what I created five because we only need three. So fine, let's remove two of those. Now that we have this ready, we need to code a little bit of CSS right here. So first thing, our nav. And our nav is gonna be, let's, op let's go back to Adobe XD. It's gonna be this gray background, which is this hex right here. I'm just gonna copy and add here the background. There you go. And we need a height. What was it? 80, all right, so 80 pixels. And of course the width which is 
is 100% because it's gonna get you know the whole width of the screen. So let's just add width 100%. Let's save that and let's see how it looks. And look at that. We can't see the links because we actually need to add them right there between the anchors. So let's add home, all right, about and contact. Okay, perfect. Now let's save it and let's see how they look. And you can see right here, we have then with no style, no nothing, they kind of have a purple color. So let's change that right now, right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm going to remove the height because we are not gonna need it. The height is gonna be depending on the padding that you add to those links. If you don't understand, don't worry, you're gonna understand later. In here, we're gonna add text align center, so they are actually centered. And, in here, we're going to add nav li and we're going to change that to display inline block. All right. So that way they are not kind of stack. They're going to be out in, in, in a line. Oh, you can see them here. So right now they are kind of in the middle. I think they are pretty much centered. Yep. All right, so let's change that color because I can't see them. So let's add nav LIA. And now I'm gonna change this color to white. And the text decoration to none because I don't want them like underlined. All right, let's see now how they look. All right, looking a lot better right now. And you can see that right now we don't have a height. So don't worry, we're gonna fix that with the padding, okay? Now font size, we can actually go back to XD and click here. And you can see they have 16 pixels. So let's go there, right here, 16 pixels. And the font family, if I am not mistaken, it was Helvetica, all right? Let's just add it right there, save it, and let's see how they look now. All right, 16 pixels, Helvetica, everything looking good. Now we're gonna add the padding. Oh, before the padding, we actually need to add display block, okay? Very important, display block, that way the padding is gonna affect right there because if not, you are not gonna see any results, okay? So let's add padding now. So it was 30 pixels, right? Let's, let's go back to XD and zoom in a little bit. All right, so it says 31 pixels. We're gonna go for 30, all right? 30 pixels and 15 and 15, okay. Let's go back to the text editor. So 30 pixels up, down, and 15 pixels left and right. Let's save and let's see how it looks now. And look at that. Awesomeness. All right, now I'm gonna add the hover, the black uh, background hover effect, which I have here with this black. All right, so we are just gonna need to add this. You can copy the same one and add hover to it. And the background is gonna be pure black. Let's save it. Let's reload, let's see how it looks. And look at that. Beautiful. Now I want to be, I want to create, I guess, smooth transition because right now it's like turning into black right there. So I'm gonna, I, I, I like when they are, you know, smooth. So what you're gonna do is right here on the A, you're gonna add transition. 
and uh, I don't know you can add one second or half of a second 0.5 all right let's see now let's reload the page and look at that beauty awesome awesome and that's it I mean it's centered and uh, totally working you can add whatever link you want the HTML right here and um, I mean that's it now before I ended the, I end the video I want to show you something very cool on sketch is another app that I use for UI design it have a ton of more options as you, as you can see here all these options and stuff all right so something that I like that actually XD don't have right now is that you can click something here let's say this background I can right click and you can see here that it says copy CSS attributes all right so I'm gonna click there and let's say I don't know um, paste it right here on the nav and look at that let's remove this background and let's save it and look you see so little things like that can help a lot if Adobe XD uh, start adding you know simple options for uh, coding CSS or HTML all right and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye